Hello, my name is Mary Lindemann. I am professor and chair in the Department of History at the University of Miami. I am also the current president of the American Historical Association. Dear graduates, I am honored to have the opportunity to address you today. And my only regret is that I cannot be speaking to you in person. I offer you my sincerest congratulations at this important moment in your lives, the bridge to your future. A college commencement represents both a solemn and a joyful occasion. I can, however, well imagine that this commencement was not the one you anticipated four years ago or even four months ago. That was one full of ceremony, surrounded by family, friends, and fellow graduates, accompanied by pomp and circumstance. Nonetheless, your accomplishments and your degrees are no less meaningful because they are be, being virtually awarded. Indeed, you are to be praised for carrying on so well in a difficult and stressful situation. Over the last few months, the world has changed for you and for us all. As students of history, you are best placed to understand these events and situate such changes in broader contexts as well as to appreciate and deal with contingencies. As historians, we know that not everything goes according to plan and that we are not always able to predict or control either our past or our future. However, your study of history has put you in an exceptionally strong position to make important, well-considered, and yes, even wise decisions not only about your own lives, but about the fate of your society more generally. Moreover, you are also best placed to assist your society. That is to assist us all to get through this particular crisis. And for that matter, to overcome the many other troubles that will inevitably plague our lives. As historians, you have learned how to separate facts from fictions and to discern the differences between coincidence and cause. You are also skilled in assessing the inequalities wrought by culture, social class, age, race, ethnicity, and place that need to be addressed in shaping any policy. In the immediacy of COVID-19, historical perspectives will be absolutely critical. We historians can use our knowledge to create a usable past, essential to dealing not only with today's unfolding and ongoing crises, but also critical for solving every problem that still lies ahead in the coming years and in the coming decades. Some of these are already known to us. Some as yet are unknown and even unsuspected. But if there will inevitably be troubles ahead, there will also be happy moments and moments of success and fulfillment. The satisfaction that will come with the realization of a job well done. The American Historical Association has printed a little sticker that can perhaps serve as a motto. You don't scare me, I'm a historian. And so you should now proceed with just those thoughts in mind. Justified concern for our future as a society, but with confidence in your own skills and the abilities of your fellow graduates, not only to overcome whatever difficulties may arise, but also to be active participants in crafting solutions, innovating, adapting, and in short, guiding society to a better place. I wish you all the best for the coming years and have every confidence that you will rise to the challenges that will face you and us all. As historians and humanists, we have a central role to play in our society. And it will be your knowledge, your skills, and your commitment that will preserve and even transform our world. It is a weighty responsibility but one that you are exceptionally well prepared 
and well qualified to assume. Let me say again, congratulations, and let me thank you for letting me address you today.